Hi there, today we'll be showing you how to install a SSD drive using a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch conversion bracket in a standard Novatech PC. To do this we've got a SanDisk U110 SSD, a Novatech 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch conversion bracket, an anti-static bracelet, Phillips head screwdriver and pliers. First of all we begin by placing the rubber grommets over the four holes on the conversion bracket and place the SSD on top. When aligned properly, flip over and insert the four screws on the other side. This bracket allows a 2.5 inch size drive to fit into a 3.5 inch bay. These rubber grommets are used to dampen vibrations on a regular 2.5 inch hard drive, but with the SSD they act as washers, as SSDs have no moving parts. As always, tighten screws in a diagonal pattern. To work easier, place your case on its side. You will need to remove the left hand panel from the PC. Now slide the conversion bracket into one of your spare 3.5 inch hard drive bays. You will now have four screws to put in while you hold the bracket in place, two of which are in front of you on this side of the bay. The other two are on the other side, which means you will also need to pop off the right hand side of the PC. Make sure the screws are done up relatively tightly to prevent the bracket from coming loose. Now for the cabling. Firstly connect up the data cable. This is the standard SATA cable and goes into the back of the drive and then into the first available SATA port on the motherboard. It's important to ensure that it's a SATA 3 port for the fastest performance. Then connect up the power cable. This is a SATA power cable and will come from the power supply loom. It's already wired into the power supply unit at the other end. Then refit the side panel of the PC in reversal of what you've done to remove them to start with. Now connect any peripherals such as keyboard and mouse and lastly the mains power cable and you can switch your PC on. Now we need to set the machine to use SSD as the first boot device. To get to the BIOS hit your delete key during the post logo screen. Motherboard BIOS layouts vary but you will need to look out for the boot option priorities. In here you will need to select the SSD as the top priority in the boot options. Now you can install your operating system and enjoy the many benefits of using an SSD.